Okay, hey everybody, we are gonna try something different this week with our what sold videos, just something to change things up a little bit. No big deal. Um, what I thought I'd do this week is every time we go to ship, starting today, Sunday, so it'll still be like Sunday through Saturday, but every time we go to ship, I'm just gonna show you what it is that we are shipping and how much it sold for. So first up, um, I'll do eBay. So I did have another eBay sale, which you already saw on last week's. Um, so that was Saturday. We will be shipping that out tonight, but you've seen it already. Totally confusing. Um, but anyway, so Sunday sales. This is the only thing that I have that sold on Sunday. And I'll show you the, the brand label. It's called THML. Um, it's... All the pieces look very similar. They're very boho. There's usually embroidery. They don't sell for a whole lot. They are, I think it was a brand that sold at Anthropology. Um, I didn't put that in my listing. Let me see if I can, I should have had this ready. Um, I didn't put it in my listing because when I checked the RN number on the tag for THML for this particular piece, it didn't come up as the anthropology RN number. So I didn't want to throw that name in there if that wasn't um, where this particular piece had come from. So it was funny because this was part of my listing challenge and I threw it up there one day because it was super easy and super fast. And I, um, almost didn't do it. I almost didn't even bother listing it. I was looking at comps for for tops and they're like eh, so low and it was hilarious. So it, it really did only sell for, okay, I listed it for $18.99. I had a 15% off coupon and let's see if I can math real quick. They do the math for me. So it took $3 off so nice. So about $16 I still got for this. So that's not too bad. I'm glad I went ahead and listed it. And like I said, it listed faster or it sold faster than half the other stuff that I've got listed. So you never know. Anyway, so that's going out in the new ground advantage. So that was the only thing that sold today on eBay so far. It is about nine o'clock at night. We'll be doing our shipping sometime this evening. If anything else sells, I'll just tell you about it tomorrow. So, but over on Posh, um, this was another item that I listed in my listing challenge. The brand is Travis Matthew. And yeah, I should have Posh up too. Can you tell I'm tired? I don't even want to talk about today's, my listing challenge is ending. I don't even want to talk about how bad I did. Okay, so these sold for $20 on Posh. Again, very quickly, Travis Matthew. It's an okay brand. It's golf wear, golf polos. I, I listed a polo as well. Um, they're nice, but they're just not big money. Um, but the good thing about them is that they usually do sell quickly. So 20 bucks, um, I think I paid like three. I know where I usually get, where I usually pick those up. I don't usually spend a whole lot on them. Okay, so another Poshmark sale that I had. And if this wasn't listed, I don't think this was listed as part of my challenge, but it was like the day or two before the challenge started. And it's a polo shirt, as you can see. The material as you're kind of, you know, if, if you look, whenever I see this, I know there was a long tag that was hanging down right there that was removed, kind of gets me suspicious. And the material just has a certain different kind of feel. And so I turned it around and sure enough, it's Lululemon. And I like doing Lululemon men's clothing. Um, you know, prices on Lululemon has got, have gone down quite a bit. Um, but men's is usually a guaranteed sell. This one only sold for $25, but again, it was within, it was in less than a week, so that's not too bad. And then the last thing that I sold, no, not the last thing, another thing I sold, this was actually a really nice sale. This was full price. 
didn't wait for an offer. I My automatic offers get sent out by Posh Sidekick. Um, 15 minutes is the shortest amount of time that they offer on there. And so she's, they, she never even favored it or the buyer didn't favor it or anything. She just flat out bought it, which was nice. And what it is, is this, it's not a t-shirt, but it's a t-shirt dress. And I picked this up at a yard sale and I was super, super excited to see the tag. It says Johnny Was. That is a vintage Johnny Was tag um, made in the USA. So when I first got it, you know, some Johnny Was pieces are like, a dress would be like 70, 80, 90 or more, right? This one does have embroidery, but this is called Johnny Was t-shirt. And it's basically a t-shirt like this sheer material has been added to. It's super comfy and loose and this style is really popular right now. So at that yard sale, I got this dress for $3. I got that, if you remember that feed sack dress. And I think I got like an Eddie Bauer, like another 80s, 90s kind of loose fitting Eddie Bauer dress, I think it was. $3 a piece and they've all sold. So it's definitely a popular style right now. This sold for $44, so I was happy about that. And then, uh, I'm just gonna leave it right here. Okay, try not to get it dirty. Um, then, this just blew me away. I don't know if you remember, if you've been a long time watcher, I did a video a while back, it was a while back. And I just took like certain things in my store that hadn't been selling. And I was like, what's wrong with these listings? Can I get them sold? And sometimes it just, my price was too high or I needed to cross post, whatever. So anyway, if you remember, one of the items were these knives. And I'll tell you again, so Lifetime Cutlery, not a bad brand. The handles are like fake um, horn or antler or whatever, but they're made out of Bakelite. So, and it's original box. Like, I was like, how could, how can I go wrong with these? I had them on Etsy. I had them on eBay. I had them all over the place and they just finally sold on Poshmark for $15. <laughs> I'm so glad these have been listed for like years and years and years. Anyway, I have probably lots more things I should be putting on Poshmark because you just never know. All right, so we'll see you again tomorrow. Hopefully more things will sell tomorrow and I'll be back Monday to let you know what sold on Monday. It's still Sunday night. I had one more sale, so I'm popping in here with these MBT sneakers. MBT, so you can kind of recognize them. They kind of look like Skechers Shape Ups. They're a toning sneaker. So these just sold on Poshmark for $50. Okay, we are gonna do a quick run to the post office. So we're just shipping the two items that have sold. One sold Monday the 31st, just one sale that day. It was on eBay and then this morning we had a sale on eBay as well. So both of those are gonna go out today, um, Tuesday, August 1st. Anyway, first thing that sold yesterday was this shirt. I'll show you the label. Rock Mount Ranch Wear, so it's True West, made in the USA. Now, there's still, as far as I can tell, dating these shirts can be kind of tricky because they've been using these same labels for a while. So I've seen vintage pieces with this label, I've seen newer pieces with this label. It does kind of have that papery tag, and I think the company is always made in USA, so I don't know that it's ever a good way to date this particular but it's a popular brand, so it really doesn't matter the age too much. Um, so it's a woman's Western shirt. It's white, it's got pink embroidery all over it. This is probably a certain ranch, their brand. Um, I don't know what it is, I didn't even research. I just mentioned it in the listing. And then that sold for $30 minus the 15% coupon that I had running and that was, um, like four dollars and fifty cents off of that and then this morning i sold another one of these wallets so i um 
talked about these wallets. This is the last one I have. I've just found a little grouping of them. Some were nylon, some were leather. They're very thin. The nylon ones especially are very lightweight. Um, minimalist, I use that word. They're good for backpacking, for hiking, things like that. And so the brand is called like All It. All It. Sorry, I don't know if it's going to focus. All It. Um, like wallet without the W. And anyway, they must have a following because everything I've put up by this brand sold like super quickly. And so this sold for $18.99 and my coupon it is done for now. And so this was a full price sale. Anyway, hopefully something else sells later on today, Tuesday, and I'll have more to share. Okay, so it's still Tuesday. Um, I had one more sale after I made that last little clip and it was a pair. I'm going to pop up a picture right here because I, my husband took it and packaged it before I had a chance to talk about it. Anyway, um, it was a pair of Polo Ralph Lauren cargo shorts and they sold for $40. So again, I don't have any kind of coupon or anything running right now and I'm having sales, so I'm just going to go with it. So full price Polo Ralph Lauren, 40 bucks cargo shorts. Now they did not sell, I sold another pair for $50 and you know, they, they didn't sell like super quickly. It wasn't like as soon as in spring I put them up and they sold, but they did sell within a couple months. So I would pick those up again, Polo Ralph Lauren cargo shorts. They might be kind of Y2K uh, particular style. Then um, I'm gonna package this up right now. It's a Lauren Ralph Lauren, um, it's a King Sham. One King Sham sold for $35. Ralph Lauren bedding, if you can find anything that's floral, that is really, really good money. But I figured for, even though it's just a stripe, it does have like the name of the pattern. Like it's like super easy and this will be super easy to ship as well. $35 for that. So my husband had gone out and he forgot to take the packages with him. So guess what I'm doing now? I am going to go ahead and run to the post office. I got to return something at the library. And um, anywho, uh, we thought about waiting a day, but I got to run this other errand. So we'll just go get things out into the mail, move them on. One sale. This is the only thing that has sold. It has been actually... This sold late last night, so I have had no other sales today at all. Today is Wednesday. So, I don't know. Okay, I'll tell you what this is first. This is a bowl by Williams Sonoma, and this sold on Poshmark for $15. So, I had picked up about seven of these. I think it was about seven. While back at Goodwill, they were all bundled together. Um, I just, beekeeping and bees and everything are really kind of popular right now. So that coupled with the Williams Sonoma brand, I figured that was a good pickup. So I had already sold the big lot of, like the lot of six bowls. And if I still have the sold, I'll pop it up here. It was a while ago, so I probably don't have a screenshot of it anymore. Maybe I can find it on Worth Point. But anyway, um, I think I got like... I want to say, okay, was it six bowls? It could have been 70 to $80, I think. It was a good price. I don't know. Maybe I'm totally making that up. Anyway, can you tell when I make these videos late at night? Look at the face. <laughs> it's so late. Okay, so we're about to package this up and ship it. Um, I will have my husband record himself packaging this if he doesn't mind. And he can just show you how that's done. Um, so the only other thing I want to say, I am, my eBay sales, okay, Poshmark was slow today, obviously, all the platforms were slow. Um, my eBay listings are not being promoted. I don't have any coupon running. I did list some new things today. Um, but I'm having glitches with my, the whole promoted listings thing, and I'm trying to get that fixed it, what ended up happening is, I don't know exactly how it happened, but a my listings are all stuck in this like processing mode. And so I can't, I wanted to just start a whole new 
uh, promoted listings campaign and I can't because they say they're processing. And so the easiest thing to do is, well, not easy, I won't call it easy, but what I'm going to do is I'm ending all of my listings, but I'm just doing it like 10 to 15 listings at a time. And this is my chance to go through and change my first class listings also to ground advantage, which I can do in bulk in little chunks. I can do that in bulk. And then the other listings that don't need shipping changes, I'm just kind of double checking. So let's see if that makes a difference. And let's go ahead and uh, see if ending all of your listings and selling similar has any effect at all. <laughs> anyway, it's gonna probably take me a few days to do that. So uh, I, you might not see the results for a while. Okay, bye. Well, that'll teach me not to check my email before making such statements. I had a sale on Ruby Lane <laughs> and I didn't know it yet. Okay, so I sold this lovely brooch and it has matching earrings. So this sold for $24, this little set. Isn't it cute? So enamel flower brooches can do pretty well. Um, condition is of course going to be important. And this one was in pretty good condition. It did not have any kind of maker's mark or anything like that. But um, having the earrings definitely helped the sale as well. And I just think the colors are great too. So one more thing also I needed to mention about the honeycomb bowls that we just you just saw. Um, the reason I listed the six together was the one that I just sold had a, like an imperfection in the glaze. And so I just decided to sell six. You know what? I really should have done my research before I started talking to y'all. Um, anyway, I'm pretty sure I sold six. Anyway, I sold all those together. And then I just decided to have this imperfect one. I know what happened. Okay, it's all coming back to me now. I listed them as one bowl quantity six and I didn't want to list it as quantity seven because the seventh one had the imperfection and that would just be too confusing to try to tell somebody. So I did one quantity six and the lady bought all of them. That's what happened. Okay, so then I just had the one with the imperfection and I listed it, I don't know, later, sometime something anyway now you can watch my husband package it up thanks so today i'm going to show you how we ship a bowl now this particular bowl sold on poshmark so we're going to use a priority box and we're going to use what we call a mug box seven seven by six you get these free from the usps uh, they were really good for mugs and smaller bowls so we're going to go ahead and get this set up. I always start at the top. That way I know it's going to end up with the label this way. Get that set and then out of the way. Now when we wrap this, I like to use the larger bubble wrap. I have a piece that I've already pulled out here. So this is five squares. Fold it in half and then cut it. This gives you a lot more bubble for the surface area of the bowl. And basically this roll that on there. Take that. So that gives you good coverage there. Now basically just rotate it and do the same thing to get the same amount of bubble wrap on each side. So that gives full coverage. Put our box here. Fits pretty well. What I like to do there is sometimes since it's Poshmark, weight's not as important. piece of paper to fill in any gaps. And 
that's it, fully protected and ready to go out. I'm going to show you how we ship uh, jewelry. Uh, this is a brooch and a pair of earrings that Shannon sold. Typically, we stock jewelry boxes for shipping. We should have this smaller size, a size in between, and then this larger one. But I've fallen short on my inventory duties, and so we don't have any of the mid-size ones, which typically I would use for a set like this. So for today, we're going to go ahead and use the larger box, which is fine. It just gives extra room. Uh, so these come with the, whatever you want to call this, foam. So generally, the best way to do this is tear it in half, put one in here, and then the other one's going to go above it, and that'll uh, sandwich the jewelry together. Uh, so when we ship jewelry, I like to use this type of wrapping paper just kind of protects it and it's nicer than your typical brown paper and all I do is just cut strips off that are roughly the size I want for protecting this give it a couple of folds and then I like to bring it in it just adds a little more protection uh, to the item and then that will go in here and for the earrings um, you can wrap them together. I usually do them separate. If you are going to wrap them together, this is what I recommend so that they don't uh, bang into each other during transit. Is just start one, do the other one inverted. Again, fold it over as you go. Uh, and that's going to protect them and keep them from knocking into each other so you don't have any enamel loss or anything like that. And then this goes on top. And once this is sandwiched in there, going to hold it nice and tight. No movement. So that's going to get to its destination. No problem. To add a little extra and two. Again, we use these different patterned tapes. Just a little nicer than your regular old scotch tape, but you can use that too. So just wrap this around and then that's sealed up. Since this one is going first class or whatever its designation is now. Uh, slide that in a bubble mailer, hold it over, and that's ready to go. Not only will it get there safely, but once they open it up, uh, it'll look nice as well. So I hope those little shipping snippets were helpful for you. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see more of that. Um, we are planning on um, adding a little bit more information about shipping and having my husband a little bit more involved in that aspect of the videos and some other um, aspects of his thrifting and reselling adventures as well. So um, it is Friday already. We're about to ship out a couple things. And um, I, first of all, I need to share with you, I did, we did ship out a couple things yesterday that I didn't get a chance to record. So first up is this vest. Um, it's something my husband picked up at the one of his bins trips and um, $25. It was an offer either came in or got sent out. I'm not sure. And um, anyway, it fit into a padded flat rate mailer. And so that's what we shipped it in. The other thing that sold was a dress. And this dress was part of the listing challenge. The picture of it up here um, is Land's End, and the reason I picked it up, um, I don't just pick up anything Land's End, but the reason I picked up that particular dress was a bunch of things, factor stacking, as Kaylee Elaine says. Um, it was a plus size, it was 1X, it was a long maxi, like tiered sundress, it was made of tensel, tensel. Um, which is just really soft and comfortable, and it was new with tags. So I figured all those things mean somebody would want it, and it sold for $30. So today's sales are another item that I listed I, during my challenge is this pair of jeans. Um, the brand is Cabby. You can see the label there. And Cabby, I have a little bit of experience selling Cabby. Um, 
I have some experience wearing cabbie. It's nice, very nice clothing. So the reason I picked these up, I was just kind of looking at jeans one day. So you can see they're distressed and they even have like paint spatter, fake paint spatter on them. So I double checked, I looked online just to double check that was an actual, like they were supposed to be like that. I, I mean, it looked like fake paint spatter, but I was just double checking. And the reason I picked them up, they're a size 12. They are a straight, it's button fly straight. Okay, so I'm not picking up any skinny jeans. Uh, you know, some people are still selling and wearing them and everything like that, and they'll probably come back around again. But um, for now, flares, straight leg, boot cut is what seems to be moving the fastest. And these did, they sold in a couple days and they sold on Poshmark. And then the only other sale, I don't have them down here with me, but um, there, I'll put up a picture. There's a pair of Crocs slides um, that they've been listed for a little while. Crocs can sell pretty good, surprisingly, but the more unusual is what I'm at the point of just picking up right now is just, you know, more unusual pieces. Um, women's Crocs sandals, seem to do pretty well and um, these were just men's like slides and I think they sold on Poshmark it was like $22 I'll have it up here just in case I'm wrong about that but anyway um, I'm still working on ending my listings and re fixing up my shipping just trying to freshen up the store a little bit it's also really good. I've decided it's really good because it's giving, it's reminding me of inventory. I'm not really at the point where I'm calling things. I probably could, but that's, that's for another time. And I'm just kind of changing prices, fixing things. And, um, yeah, so, but so far I'm starting with my oldest listings. And so a lot of them are just kind of boring, right? They're not the greatest items we have in the shop. So, you know, it's it's interesting to see what things are getting views and watchers right away again and other stuff that's just not. So I'm just going to keep plugging away at that today. And then also the problem is, is now they're all disconnected, like from my Vendu, you know, connection to the item on Posh. So I might spend a little time redoing the Posh listings as well, because that will give a boost to Poshmark at the same time. So anywho, okay, have a great Friday and hopefully I'll have some more sales to share with you later. We are finishing up the week of what sold. It is Sunday again and I did not separate out my Saturday and Sunday sales. So you're just gonna see everything I'm shipping Sunday night uh, to go out Monday. So these were sales that happened like Friday night, Saturday night. Not that there's a ton of them. There's just a few, a handful. Um, but anyway, so yeah, this what sold ended up being like a Sunday to a Sunday. So, okay, so we're going to start with a mistake. I, this was so rookie, rookie reseller mistake. I don't usually buy and sell CDs. I, I, um, maybe just don't have the patience to look through all the CDs. But anyway, I was at a thrift store and I know there's money in it a surprising money. And so maybe I should learn a little bit more. Um, anyway, I, at a thrift store I was at, it's, there's like a bunch of CDs and a shelf on the wall, but there was a couple of cardboard boxes of CDs on a shelf, like right next to it. And I thought, Ooh, somebody just donated their collection. Um, like after a yard sale or something like that. So I'm like, let me just see what, um, you know, what kind of genre or whatever of music it was. So right on top is this Taylor Swift CD. And I was, you know, everything Taylor Swift is like really popular right now. So I, I took my little phone and I scanned it with my little eBay app and the prices were pretty good with it. And so I also checked sell through. I looked at how many were listed. There was like 20 listed, but like 120 had sold. And I'm like, okay, that's really good. So even if it was just like a $20 CD, I it was gonna sell pretty quickly. 
So I did notice that there was some extra stuff in here. And so I took a quick look and I saw, yeah, there's supposed to be some kind of insert. And I was, so I just double checked real quick that there was stuff in there and I was like, perfect. Well, maybe because it was in a slip case like this, I didn't look like I normally do. <laughs> I didn't look to see dun, 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 if there was a CD in it. Total rookie mistake. So anyway, fortunately, CDs were only a dollar at the thrift store. And um, I found some other CDs that I was going to lot up. It was all the same artist. And so I had bought this pile. I checked those CDs. I checked that there was a CD inside of those, but for some reason I didn't check this one. I don't know what I was thinking. But to make lemonade out of lemons, what I did was I took the extra little goodies that were that was in there, which were these fake Polaroids of that Taylor Swift included, and they're numbered. I guess there was like chunks of like 12, groupings of 12 that you could get depending on which CD you got. Anyway, so I just listed these for $15 and they sold within a couple days. So, ha, <laughs> I, I salvaged something from my mistake. So my next thought is, you know, maybe someone would want the liner notes. What do you think? Should I just list those? I think I might just list those for 10 bucks. And then by the end of it, I might actually have more money <laughs> than if I had just sold the CD. The parts are greater than the whole at times in reselling. Okay, so that's that story. Those sold for 15. I sold this new with tags, Vera Bradley. It's a, called a double eyeglass case. So it's kind of got two pouches in it, two slots. And uh, good, well, I got these at Goodwill. There was this one and another one. It turned out they were the same pattern. Um, but new with tags and when I did a quick search at Goodwill there were some that were supposed to be that like it probably depends on the print but some were very high dollar and so I was like you know what I'll take a chance on these so I paid about three dollars for two in a baggy baggy wall kind of thing and um, I just listed the one it's the same pattern but because they use a different section of the fabric for each one, the second one looks uh, like quite a bit different than this one. So I didn't want to just put one quantity two because somebody might have a preference. So I just listed this one and now I'll do a sell similar and list the second one. And that sold for $14.44 plus shipping. Easy peasy. Now this is just a lid, lid only for a, um, I'll put a picture right here of what the whole thing looks like. This goes to a coffee pot, one of those home ceramics type jobby, but it's got like a mushroom uh, design. And the mushroom stuff is super hot right now still. So I figured, okay, so what happened was this was leftovers from a yard sale that my friend did. And she had the coffee pot, but it was chipped like pretty badly. And so we thought, you know, hey, why not just try to sell the lid? So here we go with, you know, making lemonade out of lemons. And anyway, this just sold for $12.74 plus shipping, but somebody got a chance to get the replacement to a mushroom coffee pot. And then I sold, so these were all on eBay, this, this first list. I sold this Wrangler shirt and I don't remember if this was in the listing challenge or if it was like right before it, but it was fairly recently and it's this really awesome gingham print. It is a vintage Wrangler, size large, um, made in the USA and it's just very like that very lightweight kind of cotton material. So. That sold for $23. So vintage Wrangler, you know, unless it's got a crazy awesome Aztec Southwest pattern or some other special things, they're kind of just, it's bread and butter, but it usually does pretty well, especially right now when Western stuff is doing pretty well. So we're gonna go over to Posh. 
I picked these up, these Tom's shoes, I picked these up at a thrift store and they were half off that day. So I paid three, about three to four dollars and they're new with tags. So, um, yeah, you know, Tom's were kind of a big thing a few years ago and that would have been super exciting, but, um, any, you know, it's still a fairly popular, popular brand and having the box and having it new with tags, I just thought was a good deal. They were women's size eight and a half and that kind of iconic, um, Tom style is called Alpargata and they were canvas. So those sold on Poshmark for $28. And the other Posh sale I had was a Rain Spooner. And so this was a really fun pattern. You know, the Rain Spooners don't usually sell super high. This one sold for $40, but it had such a fun, it's a Guy Buffett. Is it? Yes. Yeah. A Guy Buffett um, design but not super, super common. It's a bartender shaking, like a martini shaker kind of thing. And just kind of funny. So I did, so that one sold for 40. Um, I, this was from that Hawaiian shirt haul that I've talked about a bazillion times. And I also, um, I sold another one on Posh, another rain spooner. I got an offer that I took, but there was a problem with the buyer's payment. So unless they fix that, like go in and fix their credit card or whatever it is that happened, um, it's technically still for sale. Somebody else could buy it. I did end it on the other platform. I had it on eBay just because if they figure it out in the middle of the night and I'm not there to fix it, then I'm just going to, um, play it safe. So I've had it happen where people um, have a problem with their payment on Poshmark, like it's an expired card or something, and then they never fix it. And so I just never, it never, like not that it never sells, but it doesn't sell to that person. So whatever that's all about, maybe that just gives them the chance to change their mind. Now I did have one more sale come through on eBay as I was talking to you. So I'm going to pause and I'll be right back and go grab it. Okay. So here's what sold on eBay. I just got an offer for this foot joy jacket and it's a foot joy, dry joy, uh, size extra large. I think my husband picked this one up. I'm not positive. I pick them up too if I see them, but I don't I think there was a day my, he picked up this one and another very similar looking one in the same size that had a personalized um, golf course logo kind of thing on it from here locally. So someone sent me an offer for $50 and I took it and I real quick looked at why, what our original asking price was and we had it really high. <laughs> so I'm sure he, my husband found comps for it that were fairly high, but you know what? Stuff just needs to move. $50. I'm not going to argue with that. So that was a nice sale to get Sunday night. Anyway. Okay. So let me know what you thought of this way of doing the what solds. Um, I'm not sure if the next one will be like that. I've got a busy week coming up, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to do this where I can kind of just film as I go, but maybe I will. I don't know. Um, yeah, so feel free to let me know in the comments uh, about your sales. Mine was kind of slowish this week, right? And um, I hope you enjoyed some of the shipping tips and learned something new. That's what we need to do, right? Keep on learning. So I will talk to you um, later on in the week. I've got some other things to share with you. Bye.